former UST player and coach dito mm, okay John Paul Kuat We go where there is This is right, Filipino Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation, Battle for Third Place, of Paco Citizen Academy Foundation, Laban sa St. Jude Catholic School. We go where there is basketball, and that's why we are here. Dito po sa Chiang Kai Shek Gymnasium para ihatid sa inyo. Actually, you know, on Facebook Live, you could watch us, everything that's happening. My name is Benji Santiago. Of course, kasama ko rito si Coach Edster C. At uh, talagang si Coach Edster magkikwento sa inyo ng talagang Full details dito ng ating pinapatakbo na basketball league na ito, Coach. Okay, welcome Benji sa ating Filipino-Chinese yes. Amateur Athletic Federation. Uh, itong liga na ito, Benji, matagal na. It's been 29 years I already. I am surprised. Yeah, yeah 29 years. And uh, it's composed of Group A and Group B. Top 8 goes to Group A. So yung sa Group B, champion, top 2 will go up. Mm -hmm. Sa group A, yung mababang dalawa will go down sa group B. So, yun yung labanan dito sa Filipino-Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation. Yung game on hand natin, this is a battle for third place sa group A ito. Eh, no? Correct, Benji. Diba? Mm -hmm. Ay, pero actually, kung talaga, bigyan lang natin sila ng konti pa. Yung ating magiging championship, sino yung dalawang kupuna na yan? For group A, it would be Chiang Kai-shek College oh, versus okay. Hope Christian High School. Nako parang may mga renewal of some old rivalry, you know? Actually, so, yan, yan. Naman, 29 years. <laughs> correct, correct. <laughs> And so, then, of course, meron din tayo yung kung bakit, bakit may group A, bakit may group B. Oh, kasi marami yung teams, Benji. Okay, so sa group A, ilalagay natin doon yung pinaka-competitive. Mm. Okay, so sa group B, maraming schools talaga yung sumasali, maraming schools ang participating. Uh, we cannot accommodate everyone sa group A, so we had a group B. Top 2 sa group B will go up sa group A. Well, okay, you know, so marami tayong dapat rin, of course, malaman pa patungkol dito. Pero of course, ang pinaka-highlight nito, syempre, we want to see the game. Once again, it's a battle for third place. Itong ang St. Jude Catholic School will be going up against itong Paco Citizen Academy Foundation. And for our starters, ayan, ayaw. We will now proceed to the floor para makilala natin yung ating mga players. Of course, uh, once again, battle for third to. Pero group A ito, salang-sala, piling-pili, according nga kay Coach Ed Cersei. To summarize the number of teams na meron tayo, for group A, we have total of six teams. Okay, meron kasing uh, dalawa na dapat na sa group A we did not participate for this year. Uh, well noted with that is yung Manila Patriotic School who competed oh, yes, din yes. sa Philippine Secondary School Basketball Championship. So sa Group B, may dalawang bracket din, the B1 and B2. Uh, total number of teams sa uh, Group B is 13 teams, wow. Benji. So you add the 6 teams sa Group A, so that's a total of 19 teams participating here in our tournament. And ito na nga, of course... Uh Yung uh, isang team, ang uh, St. Jude, na, at ang mga starters natin, yung PCAF for PCAF, yan yung Paco Citizens Academy, ha? at itong uh, St. Jude Catholic School. At tal talaga, alam mo, sa tagal ko na rin nagko-cover ng basketball, Coach Edster, ang mm -hmm. dami ko rin na discover na ang dami rin palang liga ng mga Filipino-Chinese players natin, ano? High school, at of course, ang kagandahan nito, kaganina nga, nababanggit mo sa akin, ano? There are even, kumbaga sa sampung players na naglalaro, ah, 
sa Filipino Chinese League kumisa may siyam, yung, siyam lang naman yung nakukuha yeah, sa college yeah. no? <laughs> and then dito yung mga hidden gems sa okay, yeah, for collegiate basketball in the meantime nagsimula na nga po itong ating ball game once again this is a battle for third and a turnover because of a foul that's gonna be called against ditong uh, blue shirts on PCAF players to watch here for PCAF yung Aguado Twins oh yes Now we have to figure out, sabi nga ni Coach Ricky kanina, bahala na kayo kung mahulaan nyo kung sino yung mga yun. Ha? Parang ganyan, no? Aguado to Aguado, but yes. uh, turnover lang with that pass. Gusto ko yung mga ganyan, ano? When they have, you know, families, you have brothers playing together, ay eh, lalo na ito, kambal, di ba? At saka, ang pin pin pinakamaganda nun yung ano eh. Yung common lang yung pag-uusapan ninyo sa bahay. <laughs> Basketball lang talaga. Sa okay, me... PCF, dalawa magpareha uh, sa apelito. Aguada, siguradong uh, magkapatid kasi magkamuka. Uh, sa uh, other teams, uh, when you see their surnames, Lim, Chua, although they have the surname, uh, same surname, uh -huh. at times hindi naman magkamag-anak. <laughs> at lalong hindi magkamuka. Yun. Yun yun. <laughs> Players to watch here. One player that I like to watch here. Itong point guard of St. Jude Catholic School. This is Chu. Mabilis. Maganda mag-isip. Pero na... Shot block. By Brondial. And touchdown by Aguado. Yun. And that's Vic Rafael Aguado. Pressure defense in the backcourt but resulting into a foul, foul six, against itong uh, PCAF. So we have a first basket already para sa PCAF. On well, their elimination encounter, PCAF won against St. Jude Catholic School. That's oh. why PCAF is seeded number three and uh, was up against Chiang Kai-shek College in their semis matchup. Para sinasabi ng PCAF, we have your number. <laughs> Alam namin kung paano kayo talunay, pero the three-pointer was just a little bit off. Medyo shaky start tayo dito, Coach Edster. Huh? Oh, medyo... Siyempre, may, meron na ngayon, ano, may trophy ng pinaglalabanan uh -huh. for today. Well, off to a shaky start, but somehow, number five, that is first, for first this foul. player, Chu, that number 14 of St. Jude, a strong, aggressive move to the basket, and results in an end one play. Uy, eto pag gusto, gusto ko, pagkakasama ko si Coach Ed Sir, eh, no? Muling nagbabalik sa akin ng mga ala-ala kung paano ako nagiging fashionable because of Frigo, lalo na ang Hyperflex jeans. Comfortable jeans. That's right. Tatlo, apat yata meron ako niyan, eh. Yun. <laughs> Samantala, eto, second try for a basket resulting in two more points para sa PCAF. This is what is we expect for PCF, yung full court pressure that they give. Pero ito, it was easily broken by St. Jude Catholic School. Siguro inaasa nila, game plan nila, alam naman nila nagtatrap ang PCAF. So they broke that trap easily. At saka ang gusto ko rin ito, no? this is a battle for third game. No? Puro atake ito, ah. mm -hmm. very seldom yung mga shots from the outside. Ah. Mga penetration move na nakikita natin dito. Kanina nga, an end one pa para kay Chu dito sa St. Jude. So it's 6-5. At saka talaga yung defense din, you know? lalo Shot na itong mga Aguado Twins. Very, very present. Invisible. Here in the first quarter pa lamang. Kita natin kung promesure, madiin din talaga. And the help defense of PCAF is there. Just like that, another penetration move. Di nga lang pumasok. The defense was there. A setup here for the half-court offense naman ng PCAF. Yumang cross court, a three on its way. Nope, an offensive rebound. You know, Aguado twins working hand in hand. Subukole and tres, wala pa rin. Of course, lalo na sa first quarter, you'd also try to kung parang pahinugin mo yung shooting range mo from the outside. Yeah, feel the court, feel the ball, then uh, let the game come to you. And nung kalaban nilang uh, Chiang Kai Shek College. The PCAF converted 16 three balls against uh, Chiang Kai-shek College. Kaya pala pinapainit na nila yung kanilang shots from the outside. Pero an end oh, one play six, naman dito. First, 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 who scored earlier 
Another basket, and now the bonus free throw. Pangalawang offensive rebound na yan ni Brondial. <laughs> eh, yung total nga lang ng offensive rebounds eh, parang nakita ko. Si bago pa mag-foul, ah, siguro mga anim na eh. <laughs> And another offensive rebound to produce another basket to make it 10-5. Para sa PCAF, Chew with a lean-in runner. That's what I like about this player eh. Matitin mo, maliit pero gusto. Alam ko anong gagawin when he penetrates. Keith Terrence Delgado Chu. Mm -hmm. Ang haba ng pangalan <laughs> niya. <laughs> And also one player that I like to watch is number four, si Lim. Burly. May tira sa labas uh -oh. pero magandang pumisikal sa loob. I'm trying to shake off one of the Aguado twins. Ito na yung Lim na binabanggit mo. Although, he just overcooked that layup. And here comes the fast break and the making from one twin to another. Medyo may disconnection pa ng konti. <laughs> Dalawang beses na they tried their fast break play. Aguado to Aguado did not materialize. Kanina, they were setting up each other. Di ko nga malaman kung sino yung tumitira ng tres. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Para so, safe tayo, pare. Vic Aguado. Kasi isang... Vic Rafael, isang Don Vic Aguado. <laughs> Pati pangalan. I mean, hindi ko naman sinisisi yung mga parents. Oh, malamang oh, ang pangalan oh. ng tatay, Victor. Vic. Malamang. <laughs> ang shot clock. Down to seven. They gotta hurry it up. Against two defenders, the floater is short. Here comes the attack ng mga nakasul ng PCAF. Again, you're watching us on Facebook. You better enjoy this. We are doing it live. Gomez missed the outside shot. Another offensive rebound para sa mga naka-asul. And this time, netting another basket. Great basket there. Coming off the bench, si Ross Gio Tampus. More of a one-on-one -on -one na nakikita ko sa St. Jude, Coach Edster. Uh, but, dahil sa pressure, na-break nila yung pressure, they... Alam mo yun, oh, nakabreak na aming pressure. Gusto ko makascore ka agad and they've been doing it Ito so na yata. far. Nagsisimula na yata. Yung sinabi mo 16 three-pointers the last time they met. And right now, here in the battle for third, they were able to score one already here in the first quarter as Lim goes on for the three. Malakas lang. And quickly, a rebound. And now in transition... Nice give and go. Gomez just got fouled and he'll shoot two from the line. That's what uh, PCAF well, has been doing all day long. First, first Pressuring. Foul, second, foul. Like the hurried Not shots the opponent. Rebound. They run the breaks. And uh, right now, Henry Gomez with Harry Gomez will be taking two free throws for PCAF. Well, so rebounding department for sure. Lamang na lamang. Itong panig ng PCAF. They have been doing a lot of those. Siyempre, more, more possessions eh, para sa kanila and more scoring opportunities. But right now, itong ako. Sablay, dalawang free throws. Offensive rebound na naman to, Coach Edster. Uh -huh. And there's another foul. Wow. Their big man doing very well. Follow Christian J. Agustin. Kakapasok pa lang. Foul. Three offensive rebound kagad for, for PCAF. Off the bench and he scores. Agustin wearing jersey number nine. PCAF continues with their lead. Split charities. Another offensive rebound. Parang matik na matik para sa PCAF. Every time they miss, for sure they will get that basketball back. Tampus. From the outside, no connection there, just a little short limb. Bago pa maka take off. Get fouled, get pushed. Ball on number seven, that is first personal foul, fourth tip foul. So far, we've been seeing the trapping defense of PCM. Uh -huh. Very effective for them. And aside from that, is their offensive rebounding. So far, First quarter, it's a 16 to 2 disparity already for the rebounding department. Well, this is Slim trying to go one and one against two defenders that time. Had the right idea, got fouled. Follow number 11. Nananagasa talaga ito, Coach Edster. Oh, yun naman yung maganda dyan kay Lim talaga. 
Pag bumangga, giba. <laughs> Nagkakabol pa rin sila ang uh, St. Jude Catholic School. Down by 5 points. 16-11 as of the moment here in the first quarter with 3 minutes and 36 to play. Napabusano, they go closer. And making it 18-11. Penalty. 11 and uh, for St. Jude. Ball out number 9, that is first personal foul. That's all, uh, mahaba din yung bench for PCAF. They have been, they have already seated all their starters. Uh -huh. and, uh, ito, U5 on the floor already for CAF. And uh, I guess it's because of their trapping defense. Gusto lagi, fresh legs sa loob para mag-trap lagi. Lim is back at the line to shoot the free throws and he makes one in this trip what about the second Sablai pumps the rebound they're on the run again at PCAF they're always doing that first quarter really with a lot of energy Tampus from the outside no another offensive rebound St. Jude has to do something with that uh, offensive rebounding of PCAF because they've been playing good defense in the zone nila eh. Kaya yeah. lang, uh, every time the PCF is, they always get the offensive rebound. Ah, uh, they have to find the formula on how to counter those offensive rebounds. Kumbaga, PCF always have at least three chances to score every exactly. possession. Eh. Lim. And also for uh, nga St. Jude, more of a one and one play, but why not? Parang si Pasaol eh, no? si, si Lim. Doing it all for St. Jude Catholic School at this time. This is Tampus and his team PCAF up by six. Shot from the outside. That won't go. And another offensive rebound as they go inside. Gallego traveling. St. Jude, waste. St. Jude Catholic School is doing well with their zone defense. They're forcing outside shots for PCAF. Kaya lang, yun nga, Benzi, yun offensive rebound. They have to box out together and really get that uh, rebound. Kasi sayang yung efforts nung ginagawa for their zone defense. Six points. Ang lamang ng PCAF. Lim kicks it out. Shot from the outside. They needed that two. Buries it. A three-pointer. Pero itong PCAF, good awareness of what's going on inside the court as soon as the opponent makes a basket. Wait one second. Attack on the shot clock. They're not waiting for the defense to set up. And that's what they're good at. Gomez with a three. And the second three-pointer to PCAF here in the first period. Meron namang isa para rin sa panig ng St. Jude. Ang nagmamadali. The extra pass inside. Lim got fouled and to the free throw line. He goes back. Follow number 15. That is first personal foul. Chu is now leading the score. Uh, scoring 8 points already for St. Jude Catholic School. So pero kailangan niya ng support. Uh, Lim is giving him that. Plus, they have to really back out and get that defensive rebound. Lim, another free throw. Makes both this time. 23-19. Bumababa. Nachachaga. Nagagawa ng paraan ng St. Jude. Nepomuseno this time on the attack. Hand off inside. They got a height advantage. Might as well make use of it. And here comes a steal, a bad inbound para sa St. Jude. Will this result in a basket from the outside? No, not that time. Chance for St. Jude, huh? Ang haba nung Nepomuseno. Pa-fade away na yung tira, inabot pa rin. At saka just try to imagine. Tatlo ka agad yung nakababa sa PCAF to defend. Gomez driving. Finger roll is a miss. Offensive rebound. Gallego ball knocked out of bounds. It will stay. Para sa mga nakasul. 
with BCAF. Coach Ricky continually shuffling his player like a fresh legs for him. Shot now is 13 seconds. Nipomoseno almost fumbled it, recovers, trap, they go inside, Gallego in and out, they get it back, it's a sh good shot block. Sterling and brilliant defensive job by St. Jude, a long three. Crossover, wow, Billy ba ko sa mga bata Nung panahon namin, sabay ka na <laughs> parang bara-bara lang eh, pag ganito mga edad eh. Ngayon, organized basketball na yung nakikita natin. Tsaka yung skills nila, grabe. Sabi ko nga dati, sagasa ako sagasa. Ngayon, oh, in and out, oh, crossover between the legs, grabe na yung ball handling skills. As we are just about to end, ayun nga, tuluyan ang natapos ang ating first quarter, PCAF. With those offensive rebounds, with the way they come back on defense and the way, of course, they would execute and trying to make it fast in the first quarter. Leads by six, 25-19, FC, AAF. Ngayon yung pinapanood on Facebook Live. And we are just about to start with our second quarter of action. Battle for third. This is the Filipino Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation. Our broadcast is coming to you on Facebook Live. It is a Chiang Kai Shek Gymnasium. Sa Manila, Benji Santiago with Coach Enster C. Nakao Asul and PCAF who have the lead, 25-19, to end the first score. Follow number 15, that is second personal foul, first impact. As we take a look at uh, Christian Lim, in jersey number 18, at four points back in the first quarter. Arthur's uh, rebounding disparity, first quarter. PCAF 28 rebounds compared to six only for St. Jude Catholic School. So, more, more, sa attempts pa lang, mas maraming attempts na ang PCAF 21 to 11. Yung binabanggit mga coach and sir, no? Yung kanilang history back in the eliminations when they met. Kumbaga, ngayon offensive rebounds. That time around, yung outside shooting naman right. ang ginawang pamatay nitong PCAF. And how to adjust para rito naman sa St. Jude? What are they going to do? Yung offensive rebounds, masakit yun ang first quarter. Ay, 28 na si binabanggit mo against 6. Totoo eh. Uh, Coach Kuan cannot go naman man to man at this point. Nag-click-click naman yung zona nila with regards to the first attempt of PCAF. Kaya lang after the first attempt, yun nga ang problema na hindi nila makuha yung rebound. And just, just like that. Just like that. But if they could contain that rebound, I think the game would be... Kasi ngayon, close naman yung game eh. Even if for that disparity ng rebound kasi mataas yung percentage ng St. Jude Catholic School. What more if they could control that rebound? Samantala, Martin Ang just scored and a turnaround off the glass to bring the gap closer. Tatlo na lang itong lamang ng PCAF. Outside shot. They had two three-pointers back in the first quarter. Isa lamang para sa St. Jude. But they will keep on trying. Ayun tiwala nila. Confidence nila to shoot from the outside. Eh, ang galing namin sa offensive rebounds eh. So what? You know? Right. <laughs> and I guess, yun yung pre-practice nila. They know that uh, St. Jude will be zoning them. So, I guess they were practicing their outside shot. Yun yung game plan ng team. 
And uh, sabi nila, mahuhulog din yan as long as we try and keep on trying. Oh. Getting a pick from his teammate, Lin. A little bit of a Euro step, pero baliktad nga lang yung Pectus. Look at this ball fake. The Guado Twins are back. Para rito sa PCAF. Para Ooh, behind the back. Package deal, eh, no? Pag pinasok yung isa, dapat exactly. nasama din yung isa. Kasi yun talaga yun, eh. They know each other very well, eh. Di ba? Right. Kahit di sila naglalaro ng basketball, eh. Isang bahay lang naman tinutuluyan ito, eh. Baka aside from the coach's game plan, sila meron din game plan, di ba? At saka alam mo yung coach yung sinasabi nga ng mga... Siguro yung mga matatanda, mas matanda sa atin, no? Eh. <laughs> sabi ganun yung mga magkakambal daw pagka nagkakahiwalay, nararamdaman nga nila kung like nararamdaman na isa isa't isa, eh, di ba? Pwede yan, posible yan, partner. Eh, paano pa lalo kung nakikita nila talaga isa isa't isa? Kung baga, hindi lang kindatan, nararamdaman nila kung ano yung galaw ng kakambal. Correct. <laughs> Huwag lang sa larangan ng pag-ibig. Yan! <laughs> Doon maghihiwalay din ang landas nila. Pero eto, what Aguado setting it up. The other Aguado burying a three-pointer. So they have a total of three. Three-pointers here in the first half. As Lim. Eto, talaga na naman. Nananagasa na ito. Nakakalabaw na. Doon sa shaded area. Kailangan din tumabaho. The lead is 6. Para rito sa PCAF 30-24. Another 3! Yan na. Mas and, uh, masakit na to. They're feeling it already. And you can see na talagang yung bitaw ng Aguado na yun. Eh, relax na relax. And uh, it's something that he really does uh, frequently. Follow number 16, that is first person. Nine-point lead so far, the biggest in this first half being enjoyed by PCAF. So, kanina ang problema, yung offensive rebounds, ngayon yung outside shots, nadagdagan pa ang weapon nitong napanig ng PCAF. One shot at a time lang para rito sa St. Jude. Wala, another offensive rebound. And okay, now they take I'm their lead with double two. digits. It's 35-24 right now. The largest lead as a timeout has been called here by St. Jude. Kailangan gumawa ng paraan or else this is a very important game. Battle for third. Pahipahinga lang konti. Breather lang kami. Chen lang po kayo. Hindi kami mawawala. minutes and 38 and uh, a fast paced second quarter especially for PCAF now leading by 11 35 24 and four three pointers and of course you trabajo nila to take down those offensive rebounds it's still very much on here in the second period Lim another one and one play no he decides for the pass the corner shot Lim got blocked. At ito na naman kagad, tumatakbo na agad ang PCAF. And this time around, they don't need second chance point. Uh -huh. Brondial taking it hard, going towards the basket. Brondial, I do believe that's his uh, eighth point or sixth point here in the first half. But everybody's getting the shot of producing points for PCAF. The pressure defense of PCAF has been there. Double crossover move there by Lim. Sayang. It's a good move for him. Aguada Brondia lost it. A turnover. Chu. Hesitation move. Lost the basketball. Three against two. <laughs> Look at Lim. Walang takot no me pensa. Sabi niya, outnumbered kami, pero outweighed ko naman ang pinabantayan ko. 
Sorry miss there for St. Jude Catholic School. Yon. St. Jude forces a third over. Another opportunity for St. Jude to cut down this 13-point lead. Oh, magandang nangyayari for PCAF. Their trapping defense is working for them. Aside from that, their second chance point is working for them. Tapos ngayon, medyo nasushoot na rin. Pati yung three-point shot nila. The, those are the big problems St. Jude is facing right now. They have four three-pointers here in the first half. Still long ways to go. Mga ngalahati pa lang. Itong ating second quarter. The Euro step and the runner. Di nga lang pumasok. Para kay Aguado. This is something that we need to learn from this game. Aside from trapping, aside from forcing turnover, PCAF also is forcing St. Jude to take hurried shots. Okay. So, pag kunwari, naka, naka, wala sila sa trapping, they're trying to take hurried shots, less percentage for St. Jude Catholic School. I mean, I'm at all amazed and awed by the talents and skills of the teams, nito, the players. And to consider this is only a battle for third. How do you find this in the championship? <laughs> we got two championships ah, coming up sa Group A at saka sa Group B. Unahin muna natin yung Group B right after this ball game. Yung mga kalahati pa lamang. If you got so excited about this, and most probably you could share it ah, sa inyong mga Facebook friends that we are actually broadcasting this live on Facebook. Buhat po rito sa Chiang Kai-shek Gym. Another miss by St. Jude. 16-point lead here para sa panig ng PCAF. Another try from the outside and another offensive rebound. Subok lang na. Pwede rin sumubok na sumubok kasi na rin ako makuha na rebound eh. And they're, Yumang. they're taking all three-point shots, getting those rebounds, kicking it out back. But now, yun na. Sabi na, teka lang, hindi na kayo makashoot sa labas eh. Ako na, dito sa loob. Sabi ni Bondia. First half pa lang ito, baka maubos na yung tuhod natin dito sa kakatalog. But nevertheless, an 18-point lead, the largest here in the first half para sa PCAF. So they're having their way again. Laban dito sa St. Jude. One-hander floater. Galing kay Lim. And he scores again. As expected, two of those players from St. Jude. Lim and Chu. Really carrying the battle for St. Jude Catholic School. Unlike at the other side, anybody can be deadly. Anybody is a threat. Alley-oop play! Pagangat, na double team, tapik ng bola, St. Jude on the attack. Rare opportunity for St. Jude na isa lang ang binigay nilang attempt for PCAF that time. Lim. Shot clock down to 10. This time a little big patient. Ayun nga lang may sundot si Brondia. Look at that, nakapagpasa pa. Aguado, Reyes. Brondial, ako umagaw, ako yung score. <laughs> Sabi niya, hirap na hirap kayo kung uh, nakashoot sa three points. Gento lang yan, ha? and Brondial showing away that he's not just an inside present, hindi lang siya pang offensive rebound. He could also take those outside shot just like that. Siya gumawa ng paraan, sinuklian lamang ang kanyang effort, and they lead by 17 ng PCAF. And we're back with two minutes and 22 remaining here in this battle for third. Again, on Facebook, it's Filipino Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation. This league has been going on for 29 years. Just try to imagine that. 
Correct. And giving, given the opportunity to cover ito pang battle for third and dalawang finals. Grabe ang history nitong liga na ito. Correct. Sa so Division B finals, we have St. Peter versus Philippine Cultural College. Yan. Something to look forward to. But ito, everything that's expected of PCAF, it's all happening. It's Gomez yeah. scoring in transition after an error again ito sa St. Jude. The trapping continues. Finally, na itawid. Chu. Pero can't shake off. Ito si Gomez. And Christian Lin handles it. Four seconds remaining in the shot clock. Floater is off. Takbuhan na naman for PCAF. Vista. Parang hindi pa siya masyadong involved sa play. Ngayon lang siya to see in action. Eh. Okay, yung pace ng laro, medyo, teka lang, ganun pala kabilis yun. Oo. One of our supporters, Masu Max no, Food Supplement Capsule yan, by Mr. <laughs> Peter Wee. 47-28. The lead is 19. Up Shoot and under. Lip. Up and under move, ah. Gomez, now Visa setting it up. Three pointer on its way, falls short, and Bakit yung mga galing sa bench, alam ko ano gagawin, Coach Edster, eh, no? Okay, yung mga ibang rebound ng players, nang gagaling pa sa labas, going inside to try to have that offensive rebound for PCAF. Yun yung sinasabi na, on the same page, everybody. Same. Gomez, attacking, extra pass. Touchdown again for PCAF. If you will see yung defense sila, man-to-man defense and opportunity para dumobol. Magagamble sila to try to double. Kung sagutan lang, yun ang magiging problema rito ng St. Jude. Yes, they could score, but the problem is, can they defend as we go into the final seconds before we end the first half here? The lead is 17, largest at 19. Tapo ng opportunity for Vista. His second turnover here in the second period. 4.4. Kailangan magmadali ang St. Jude. Can they score? At least they have something that they could actually keep in mind before ending the first half. But throwing in from the backcourt, how quick can they get things done? Chu puts it up long distance. Too long, too strong. Very much in control here in this battle for third. Between PCAF and St. Jude, 49-32. Malaki pa rin ang nakabulin ng St. Jude. What adjustment will happen in the second half? Yun po yung atabayanan natin. Of course, medyo hihimayin din natin what happened in the two quarters of this battle for third game. Dito lamang po sa Filipino-Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation.
And we are still at the half with, of course, a 17 point lead being enjoyed by PCAF 49-32. Pinakamalaki actually umabot ng labing sham for PCAF having their way, at least in the first two quarters of play. But, uh, of course, si Bron Diel actually top scoring para rito sa PCAF, producing 11 points. Pero, of course, isa sa mga stats natin na review natin kanina, Coach Edster, kwento ka mo sila yung rebounds ng PCAF. Total rebounds partner, it's 44 to 13. Okay. But what's glaring here is the offensive rebounding of PCAF. It's 25 to 0. Inning nyo, St. Jude, isang attempt lang ang binibigay ng PCAF. While sa PCAF, you have 25 offensive rebound. That's big for a team. Half time pa lang. And it's not only that, ang PCAF, mas marami pa silang offensive rebounds sa defensive rebounds nila. <laughs> Correct. But 25-19 yun eh. Imagine that. A shot from Rafael Aguado is a miss. So the Aguados are back again. Sabi sa inyo eh. Package deal yan. Hindi pwedeng isa-isa lang ipapasok mo. Kailangan. Pareho sila nasa loob. Baka nahirapan din si Coach Rigi kung sino tatawagin niya. Kaya, oh, sige, dalawa na lang kayo. Sabay na kayo. Rodrigo and Rafael. Si, kung bagay yun na lang kinonsider ko, Rodrigo is wearing jersey number 13. Number 16 is Rafael. Eto, tingnan natin to. Yun nga yung binabanggit natin. 19 defensive rebounds yan, ha? Para sa panig ng PC. Pero 25 yung offensive rebounds nila. Imagine in inyo. Walang offensive rebounds sa St. Jude. Yeah, 25 to 0. Yun. Uh, di discrepancy ng dalawang team. Six three-point shots made in the first half para sa PCAF. Only one para sa St. Jude. Offensive rebound na naman. And Brondial is producing a larger number here. Yun naman, yung, the points. yun naman yung maganda kay Brondial kasi after a defensive rebound kaya niyang ibaba yung bola is taking it coast to coast and even if he missed the shot he's getting the offensive rebound and uh, making that put back and sometimes they don't even design a play para rito kay Brondial sariling kayo din pero he's got everything working out for him maganda ang gising niya mhm uh -huh. Kaninang omaga. <laughs> and uh, of course, he wants to give naman uh, a, a trophy for uh -oh. their school. Siyempre, a game for third, pero pa trophy yan. Compared sa, of course, if you don't win this game, yung prestige of having, being in a final four, yun naman ang dala-dala ng St. Jude or ng PCAF. Lim, who had 13 back in the first half, already with 15 right now, but another three pointer, the seventh, para sa PCAF, as they continue with their mastery, even here in the second half. Laban dito sa St. Jude, 23 point lead, na hindi mababawasan. Muntik na sana ma offensive rebound yan, partner. Muntik na sana. Yun din yung babanggitin ko, pero inabangan ko muna, hindi, hindi pa kontrolado yung bola eh. Heads up play there by Chu, tapping the ball to the teammate, pero first to the ball again is uh, PCAS. Three minutes gone by, the signing third quarter. PCAF just getting better and better. Alam mo, tinitingnan ko yung quality ng laro ng PCAF. Nandito, bakit sila nandito sa battle for third lang eh, no? And you just uh, want to imagine, paano pa yung top two teams yeah. who are going to compete later on for Group A. The eighth three-pointer, Yuman scoring. And it's also the ah, simultaneous with the offensive foul. Pero they count the basket. Ayan, makikita natin dyan. Outside shots have been clicking already. You know, I mean, when you're taking rebounds, when you're defending well, walang malas sa defense. Tama. Iba. A strong move there again by Lim. Sino sabi ng natin? Eto ang pasaol ng Filipino Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation. 
quick post up move, quick turn, strong to the basket, making that two points. Your partner niya si Chu kanina, medyo na nahimik na in the third quarter. And the ninth three-pointer in this ball game, the last time around, sabi mo nga, Coach Edster, itong PCAF had 16 laban dito sa St. Jude and forced to a jump here. And that was the third straight three-point shot by Yumong. Tatlong sunod-sunod na yan. And uh, he was, uh, ang ganda kasi na setup sa kanya ng teammate uh, driving to the basket, uh, kicking out. Correct me, it's Yumong for that third straight three-point shot. So the Aguado Twins, sabay na naman sila, pabalik sa bench. <laughs> And here comes the players off the bench. Naman. Gomez is back on the floor. Yumang was beginning to feel his hot hand. Tampus. Of course, Shang and Port General para rito sa mga nakaasul. Wow! Yumang have four three pointers in the third quarter. And sunud sunud yan, partner. Ha? Four straight three pointers there by Yumang. 66 38. A blowout, and we're just here in the third quarter. You see, Pug, you know, hard work of PCAF, playing good defense, uh, pressuring defense, and again, forcing another third over, and a fast break. Ooh, yeah! Tinignan pa ni Lim. Kala mo nga, nagawan mo ko, kailangan bawi ang kita. Yun ang sasabi natin, eh. Now, minsan, if you are in a fast break, just go straight to the basket kasi baka abutan ka pa. 66-38 with 5 minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Battle for third. Gomez fakes. Yun, Ayan. Defen uh, defensive pa pala. Defensive. Defensive <laughs> eh. Oh, eh. Lim trying to change directions. Trying to shake off Yumang. Ang nowhere to go, has to pass out. Shot clock down to six, hang time, wala. Di talaga rin makakuha ng offensive rebound on St. Jude. Tampos. Gomez hesitates with the three. Yumang. Tampos open, no! Pick the ball up. Another offensive rebound. Gomez taps into his teammate, si Yumang. Even the top of the ball going to PCF, PCF way. Shot clock down to five. Yumang firing again. Hindi araw-araw Pasko. At saka medyo malayo pa. 59 days pa. At saka medyo hinihigal-higal na rin ako. After that four straight three-point shot by Yumang, medyo may higal na rin, partner. Well, pangalawang three-pointer pa lamang para rito sa panig na St. Jude. 66-41 namang pa rin ang PCAF. May ganti ba? Yun lang nga. Every time they make a three-point basket, one thing is for sure, pag baba, pag lipat sa kabila, merong ganti, merong bawe, and no wonder. Ito nga PCAF is up 69-41 as we go into this timeout. No Frigo fan of the game. Oh, huh? Buti ka pa, meron ka na. <laughs> In Frigo Hyperflex jeans. Pero kung gusto mo talagang malaman kung gaano ka-fashionable yan, gaano ka-tibay, tarungin mo ko. Yan. Apat ang ganyan ko. <laughs> At apat ang ganyan mo kasi alam mo kung gaano ka-comfortable. Yes, so, so, totoo yeah. yun. Now, PCAF naman, kanina, tao-tao trapping nila ngayon. Nag-1-2-2 trap and then they're now, uh, pinapakita naman na kaya dumipensa ng zona. 2-3 defense by PCAF. And when it comes to offensive rebounds, talagang zero pa rin. Itong St. Jude, one shot at a time. Isa-isa lang na. 
69-41. This is a 28-point lead for PCAF. Pero the same level of energy na nakikita natin. And these are players off the bench. Coach Ed Serra for PCAF. And sometimes when your team has a momentum like what oh, PCAF has, oh, has na ano eh, na, na hawa pa ni best friends. Pagpasok mo, the intensity, na hawa na lahat. And that's what uh, we've been seeing so far. Nagpalit na ng depensa. Ngayon, it's PCAF trying to show a zone and St. Jude doing a man-to-man -man defense earlier on, forcing a turnover for uh, St. Jude. Oh, sabi naman nila eh. Wala namang makashoot sa kanina sa labas eh. Aba, sabi ni Ang, teka muna, nandito ako. At pangalawa ko na ito, here in the third quarter. Yes, Martin Ang making two three-pointers here in the third quarter. Tapos, setting up the play. Two minutes and 35 here in the third. Turnover. A little bit too fancy. Nahirap nga yun eh. Basic na basic in basketball. You do not commit yourself in mid-air tapos hindi mo alam kung anong gagawin mo. Tama. Diyan tayo medyo when we try to teach our players huwag kang tatalo nang hindi mo alam kung anong gagawin oh, mo. Eh. Because uh, once you do that malaking chance that you're going to get a turnover. Shoo! Fall short. Yun! May yun. offensive rebound na! A rare Saint offensive Jude. rebound by St. Jude. Brought to us by Lim. And still unable to cash in somehow. More scoring opportunities that they have missed out. With two minutes remaining. Here in the third two quarter. Minutes. Sticky defense now by St. Jude Catholic School. Man-to-man -man defense and try to help out forcing PCF with that outside shot. Ayun, one attempt. A rare one attempt uh -oh. for PCAF. Good box out there by Tan. This is Christian Lin underneath for Elgonis attempt. Ball stays. 18 seconds a shot clock. Nakaka Jude. partner tignan yung Alexander Tan. He may not be uh, skilled offensively pero makikita mo sa defense side. Uh -oh. Laging umahabol ng bola, dumidipensa na maganda. Earlier on, he was the one who backs out and get that defensive Ball rebound. Seven, seven, first of all, foul, sa panag-uupisa ka player, you don't really need to score so much. Sometimes the little things na uh, gusto pagawa sa'yo ng coach, gawin mo lang ng mabuti and you'll get your playing time. At saka doon nakikita yung value. If you can actually carry or lead your team, team eh. Hindi naman Correct. one against five ito eh. Di ba? Kumbaga, pinapapogi ka rin ng mga kakampi. Eh. Tama. Yun yun. 69-44. Tapos going all the way. Sneaky. Sneaky move. Towards the basket. Teddy Guardia din talaga itong si Chu of St. Jude uh -huh. Catholic School. Kahit may trap, it doesn't really easily fall into turnovers. Kaso okay. lang medyo nakakapagod kung lagi mo i-break yung trap. Itong Paco Simpson Academy Foundation, the way they're playing, sabi nga natin, lamang sila ng malaki, pero somehow yung fierceness nila, the way they started this ballgame, ganun pa rin yung pace. Pride na rin siguro eh. Parang yun na nga, kanina naitanong na natin, siguro magiging masaya na rin itong mga players si Coach Ricky and even Coach Ricky himself. Ano na sabihin ganun? Kita nyo na? Sabi nga ng mga announcer eh, bakit hindi tayo nasa finals? Yeah. Ganito laro natin eh. Di ba? And uh, for a school like uh, Paco Citizen Academy, which is compared to uh, other schools, it's a smaller school. Oh, okay. The pride that uh, they would give to their school is a big bagay din. You know, I can remember last year when we were holding the PSSBC, si Coach Ricky was even telling us that, do not expect so much from me, ha? Tsaka lalo na sa mga players ko. Alam mo na, marami pa kami pinagdadaan ng proseso and everything. And all of a sudden, I get to see him here, 2018 na. Tapos bigla mo sasabi, oops, ba, battle for 30 na. Baka sa susunod, championship pa. Pwede, na, eh, pwede. Because of the program, makikita naman natin eh. Yung culture na gusto ilagay ni Coach Ricky. Uh -oh. Drive, kick out, the pressing defense. 
Okay, yung programa na doon. It's a matter of really sustaining it and uh, making it better. For St. Jude naman, Coach Ed, sir. I mean, umabot ka rito, battle for 30. Hindi ka naman talaga basta-basta rin na team, eh, di ba? Correct. And uh, day in, day out with the hard work that they show naman. Makita mo, iba medyo raw pa yung skill. Uh -huh. But again, with uh, Coach Kuan leading the group, maganda naman yung ipinakita dito sa tournament. Sabi nga, build them up. Build them up. 73-44. Lamang pa rin ang PCAF. Final 10 minutes of this battle for third. Filipino Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation. Buwato ito sa Chang Kai-shek Gym sa Manila. Benji Santiago kasama ka si Coach Ed Sturzi. It is a big lead truly para rito sa PCAF or Ampaco Citizen Academy Foundation being coached by Coach Ricky Alcantara. At ito namang uh, St. Jude Catholic School. Talaga sa opening buzzer pala, pinakita na kaagad itong mga naka-asul. Who's the boss? They're very imposing with regards to the rebounding department and yung defense, full court pressure nila. Dere-derecho, walang kapagod-pagod. Vista! Vista! 2020 ba? <laughs> Joining in sa three-point parade. Uh, wala si Yubang eh. Teka lang. Kaya Ako naman muna. But if I'm not mistaken, that's already three-point shot made number 11. Para rito sa PCAF. 76-44. This is already a 32-point lead para sa PCAF. Bit of their energy. No waning of energy. No let up in their offense. Especially in those legs, they can still run, they can still execute. Magandang player itong number 10, Nepo Moseo. Uh -huh. Okay, lanky, mahaba. And sometimes kasi taller players tend to be slow, pero si Nepo Moseo, mabilis na matangkad. Eh. Bisa committing an error, naipamigay yung bola over at the other end, a foul. It's gonna be called laban dito kay uh, Gomez. Foul number seven, that is third personal foul, first slip foul. Yes, yun lang eh, di ba lang ma-foul, pero no easy basket. You don't want to get, uh, you don't want to give momentum to the other team by giving them easy basket. You may never know, baka six, eight straight points ang kanila, yung momentum mag-shift, hindi natin masabi ang ball game. Two for two. Christian Lim made that trip. Alam mo, lalo na, no, yung mga edad dito, yung mga bata pa ito, kumbaga, very, uh, yung kanila mga impression na maririnig nila, yung mga sasabihin ng mga coaches. So, you go into a battle for a third. Like, for example, so, the, first first uh, first the probability is parang medyo malabo na makahabol pa rito ang St. Jude. Now, after this ball game, alam mo lahat yan, nakatingin sa lupa, lahat eh. So, what's the best thing to tell them, Coach? You, Coach Elsie, oh, alam mo yan. Being a coach, lagi natin sinasabi, lagi natin sinasabi ng player natin, lagi meron pa rin matututunan. You always try to give your best, whatever circumstances that you are in. And uh, besides, nandito ka sa top four. Yeah, so, yeah. dapat, you're, dapat uh, you, you should be proud and Lagi naman, in a two teams at battles, a better team would win. Sorry that, and you just have to give that to the other team. Pero yung work ethic, yung culture mo as a team, dapat hindi mawawala. At saka, it does not happen overnight. 
Sabi nga natin, kay Coach Nikinga, last year when he was telling us, do not expect anything from us dahil bago pa lang kami, I'm still trying to input them yung system. Siyempre, yung chemistry pa ng mga players with each other. So, sa St. Jude, darating din kayo dyan eh. This is already an achievement for you, sabi nga na, ni Coach Edster. Top four being something. Sa dami nang sumali. And you're actually dun sa anim sa Group A. Pinigpili yun eh. Correct. Kasama kayo dun eh. Correct. Diba? And uh, being in the top four, you would remain still in Division A. Oh, sa Group A ka pa din. Like what I mentioned, the lower two teams from Division A would go down to Division B, while the top two teams in Division B will go up the match to Division A. Always a room for improvement for the holding of the FCAAB, or F, Filipino Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation. 84-49. Fourth quarter. Let's talk about give chance to those who are already on the bench. So most probably the Aguado Twins. Okay, na sila. Service has been rendered. Mission accomplished. And even the other players are getting that offensive rebound for them. Now don't go away because we're going to be coming up with a championship game, huh? So, so good, Dante. This will be sa Group B. Dante. Correct. That's it. It's between St. Peter Apostle School versus Philippine Cultural College. Yeah, the top two teams that is a division B. And again, of course, maraming salamat sa mga sumusubaybay. Actually, lalo na yung mga ganitong edad ng mga bata, hindi na ito nanonood ng TV. Social media na talaga. Social media talaga yan. Sa mga tablets, yung mga ganyan nanonood yung mga yan. Kasi wala sa bahay. At saka ko minsan, nag-coinsan, siya kanilang mga nakalaban na pinanood din nila, hindi sila pumasok sa top four. At baga, nire-review rin nila yan, ano yung mga pagkakamali nila, bakit kami natalo, sino yung mga players na ang hirap-hirap kong bantayan, bakit ano ba yung galaw niya. At pagkakasama sila mga teammates, pinag-aaralan lahat nila yan. And they're very fortunate that this time, meron ng mga ganitong technology. Like before, these games are not being aired. Diba? Sa kwentuhan na lang. Nakita mo ba yung layup ko kanina? Nakita mo ba yung three points ko? But now, they could go back and look at the social media and then even show it to their grandparents. Exactly. Their grandparents would be proud of them. Dati, nariyakakarinig ka lang ng point ng basket doon pag nagpagupit ka eh sa barberia. Wala ka pa proof ha, na video. Wala ka natin. Kwento lang talaga. Pwede pa ang nagtagal ko. Kaya yan, ang gaya ng mga ganyan. On our slow-mo. Saring sariwain ninyo. It will be there. On Facebook. 86.51 Less than 5 minutes to play here Pero yun nga, gusto natin i-build up We're gonna be having next Dalawang championship game Dito sa FCAAF Sayang lang, we could not give the We could not air the Champions game Championship game of the Boys match the first round Kasi dapat to date din ang kanilang Oo nga eh They would love to see the 12 years old below Championship game between Chiang Kai Fred College and St. Stephen So it happened lang na Nagkaroon na change of schedule And their championship match will be played on Monday Yun, hindi mo rin masasabi na kahit mga 12 years old lang yun Europa ang mga skills yung mga yun Correct, the first time I saw a 12-year-old play was 
John Vincent Gallego of Chantay uh -huh. College now playing with the National University Bull Bulldogs. Sila dalawa ni Fran Yu playing for Chantay College now already in college. Si Fran Yu naman playing for the Letran Knights. Grabe, ang bilis ng panahon. Bilis ng panahon. <laughs> Napubuking ako sa edad ko. <laughs> You know? Good pass underneath. Lip to lip. Good talaga yun. At saka lalo na yung number four. Lim, who is basically like the top scorer right now para rito sa St. Jude. Alam mo kung minsan, ano? A lot of things are expected of him. You have that bulk ng body mo. Alam mo makikipagbanggaan ka sa loob and everything. And then, of course, hindi lang yun. You will have to maintain that kind of energy. You will have to be a force to reckon with. No? And not only that, talagang, kumbaga, siya yung sinasabi mo, you have the broad shoulders to carry your team to wherever they want to go. Pero nilabas muna siya. Parang ayaw pa kang lumabas eh. Ayaw pa lumabas. Pero yun naman yung maganda. Like what I've mentioned kanina, you want to build a culture sa player mo na whatever yung lead, whatever the score is, day in, day out, yung intensity, yung hard work na ipapakita sa'yo sa loob, nandun. At saka you have to trust your coach. Correct. Sometimes kahit na gusto mo pang maglaro, your coach will see, like for instance right now, Kung baga, medyo futile na yung ating uh, chances dito na makaabol pa tayo dito, di ba? So, most probably, kaya kita nilabas, baka mamaya magkaroon ka pa ng injury dyan. Alam ko, gigil ka eh. Meron, meron diba? mga ganyan. May mga ganyan eh, di ba? Alam ko, gigil ka eh. Pero bata ka pa para masira ang karir mo because injuries lang, di ba? You'll have plenty of chances and that's why you always have to trust your coach. Correct. That's what... Uh what we built in sa players natin, you have to always trust your coach. Laging meron silang reason to do yes. certain things. Kung nilabas kayo, nilaro lang kayo in a few minutes. Trust the system. And uh, again, it's a team sport and uh, your coach is the leader of your team. So we're gonna be having a simple awarding ceremony in this battle for third. That's sabi mo nga, Coach Edson, may trophy to. O isasabay na natin mamaya? No, it's, uh, they will be awarded their medals and trophy already. Our FCAF officials are here. Uh, I see. Oh, that's very si good. Coach Sadiko, si Ms. Yoliko to try to award the third place trophy to, I guess, PCAF partner. So, yun yung sinasabi natin. All Paid well in the end, para rito sa PCAF, you just have to have a system that you can trust and you just have to keep on executing the way your coach wants you to execute and everything will fall into place. And as a result, kung talaga ito, Last two siguro, minutes! Oh nga, third, place, third placer kami. Bakit third placer lang? Dapat nasa finals na kami. Darating din yan. Darating din yan. And minsan, partner, Based on our experience with regards to having tournaments, it's better to be in third place than in second place. It's true, because when you win the game, you win it. That's it. Sometimes it's just a game. But then again, after all this, it's the learning experience. What the tournament has given us, that's the important thing, especially for young kids like them. And you still have a long way to go. Just try to imagine, you know. Marami na na impress sa skills niyo, but you're just basically still in high school. Correct. And dami yung pandadaan na gera sa basketball. Kuto tosen. Ano maganda yan? Si Coach Ricky, si Coach Fuan have instilled a good foundation for this two schools. Maganda yung programa na nagstablish na. You could already see in the kind of setup plays. Uh, trapping pressure, uh, pressure trapping and all, makikita mo merong identity yung team ng, dal uh, yung, uh, team ng dalawang school. Yung mga, yung mga school coaches, medyo mas bilib pa nga ako dyan eh. Dahil sometimes you have to be a friend and at the same time a parent and of course a coach pa, di ba? Dahil paano yung academics? That's also very important, di ba? You, you cannot hindi, just play basketball. Correct. Ang hindi mo 
na banggit na sometimes is, uh, alam mo, kailangan din ng mga coaches yung pakibagayan ang parents. Yes, di ba? Y- yung pa isa. <laughs> isa pa yan, isang factor to be considered pa yan. Kaya, sabi ko, binib ako sa mga, ano eh, mga coaches ng schools, lalo na yung high school, sumasabay ka rin eh. Sasabayan mo yung adjustment mo sa pag-grow, grow up ng player mo. But it's always fun to see them when they grow up. They have their careers uh-uh. that they. Na, mag, uh, mag- sa inyo, coach, sa na and all. It's always fun to have those kinds of experiences. And you learn to become a better person, not just a better basketball player, but a better citizen of the country. And not only that, something that everybody, your relatives, would be truly proud of you. For now, ang PCAF, ang Paco Citizen Academy Foundation, their parents of the players, their friends, the school, basically all proud for coming up with the third place finish. And we will have the simple awarding ceremony. Filipino Chinese yes, awarding Amateur Athletic Federation. Uh, right High now, to be led by Mr. Lim Engpeng, Ms. Yoli Ko, Mr. Hector Chua, and uh, Vice Chairman of uh, FCF Basketball, Coach Sunny Ko. PCAF. That's the final score, 90-57. The medals, and of course... The congratulations. Uh, the medals are Vice President, Vice President of the Filipino Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation uh, Com- Basketball Committee, Mr. Hector Chua and Mr. Sunny Ko, assisted by Ms. Yoli Ko. We'll be giving two awards for individual awards for the third place. Our Masu Max, Paasaham player, and our Frigo, best player of the game. Okay, congratulations again, PCAF, third place, second runner up, Division A, FCAF basketball. For our Paasaham, Masu Max, Paasaham player of the game. We have number 23, Alexander Brondial. Congratulations, Alexander and our Frigo, best player of the game. We have Patrick Yumang. We have uh, Alex Brondial, come forward. Alex Brondial. Okay, one picture at a time. Congratulations to Coach Ricky and to PCAF third place.